Hi, my name is Les Thomas of Maximum Win, and I'm the inventor of the Taylor Freedom Seat. I guess I should have one, huh? I'm going to uh, complete the review of the Brazos Hitchhiker Walking Stick. It's an amazing walking stick. It's got fantastic uh, quality. Um, it does have a feature where it has a narrow side and a wide side. Pocket here. So, if we go on the wide side, there's minimal, minimal flex. So I guess what I'll go ahead and demonstrate first is that uh, I can go ahead and sit on the stick. So put the first anchor on one side and then you got this narrow flap so it fits perfectly with the anchor. On, so the pole behind you, um, I've already validated this pole. Put the other anchor on top of the first. Start to uh, lean forward. And as you have tension in your straps, you can out the seat around your buttocks. Yeah. Put your legs out and get a nice wide stand. And rest comfortably. Um, this hiking stick is supporting me without issue. So I thought about this stick and I and wouldn't necessarily recommend it for anybody heavier than me. So I, I was thinking, is that what would be a good a walking stick to recommend for uh, persons larger than 250 pounds? But these walking sticks are pretty amazing. And I thought, wow, if I had a pair of these, they would make a nice pair of trekking poles. So I went ahead and I bought another set. The first box came in something like this. Not a small package at, at all. Second one I ordered in a little bit of a bigger box. And see uh, if there's anything different. I can hear it uh, banging around inside. I don't think that would cause any damage. The only thing that's in here is another hitchhiker or walking stick. It, it, it is, it's beautifully crafted. It really is nice. And let's see here. This one is handcrafted by As far as comfort in the hand, it feels fantastic. Whether you would want the curve uh, facing backwards so your hand can rest against this protruding piece of the wood, which is very, very nice. Or if you'd want to have it facing forward, and then you could have your fingers on that piece. It's a personal preference. I think I like the curvature this way with the, uh, the knob facing forward. It's a very comfortable feel in my hands. Let's go ahead and, and use a, a pair of walking sticks with the Talo Freedom Seat in the advanced method. Um, first, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go through the pole validation process. I'm sure this one is gonna be fine, but I just took it out of the box, so I should make sure that it will support my weight. The method that Anthony Harton used in his video. I remember, uh, if you haven't seen it, Anthony Harton, 77 years old, and maybe coming out and putting your full weight on a stick isn't something that you're physically capable of doing, which is fine. What he did, which I thought was fantastic, is he put it up against his body and he put a lot of pressure into it. Um, but you could put your walking stick on the side, or this one for that matter, and just really put as much um, inertia or energy into the pole this way to see what kind of flex you can get. And you'll get a really good feel if if you are going to be able to trust this walking stick with your weight. I have a pair of Brazos Hitchhiker walking sticks that I've purchased. So, we're gonna take two uh, walking sticks. We're going to get our tail of freedom seat ready. First thing you wanna do is validate your walking aids. Whether they're hiking sticks, whether they're trekking poles, or whether it's a single hiking stick, you need to make sure that you can trust your life to this. So once you validate your walking sticks, you put one anchor over the top end of one walking stick and another anchor over the top of the other walking stick. Then you take one of those and put it behind you and you put the tips at your heels. Lean forward into the anchors, creating tension in the straps. When you feel the straps are tight, that'll make it much easier to fan the seat out nicely around your backside. So lean forward, step forward, and it doesn't matter, right foot or left foot, step forward, step forward again, and then you're just gonna rest into the seat. So some people have said, wow, that's gonna be really nice until 
the sticks poke through and jab you in the face. Well, that's not gonna happen. If you are within the rated weight limits, so 300 pounds or less, or if you have a lifetime version and you're 400 pounds or less, a non-sharpened end is not gonna poke through these. Um, we've done the strength tests on this. I've loaded over 600 pounds on a single anchor on the end of a uh, Olympic barbell, or we have. I had help from uh, Chris Merritt of BSP. Thank you very much, Chris. He loaded up, actually, um, the weights, and we had over 600 pounds on a single anchor. You know, safety is extremely important. Uh, I have, uh, in earlier on in life, been a rock climber. I've made climbing gear, repaired climbing gear, not only for myself, but climbing gear that the lives of my friends, family, and others depended on. So yes, my legs are engaged, but they're really only supporting about 20%. Yeah, it's, it's very comfortable. So back to the uh, Brazos uh, walking sticks. I'm really liking them. If you're, if you're a big person, uh, I would suggest getting two. Uh, they're very reasonable. Highly recommend them. And, and I bought these myself. I'm not getting any kickback from Brazos whatsoever. These are the Brazos Hitchhiker, and I, I'm giving them an A+. I, I think they're fantastic. Thank you very much. Take a load off.